Next up, we'll take a look at two built-in methods that are kind of similar. They have to do with searching or looking for a value in an array, includes and index of. Now they sound like they might do the same thing, but they return different values. So let's start with includes. Includes is relatively simple. It is known as a Boolean method. It returns true or false. It takes a value and it tells you if that array includes that value or not. And that's it. It doesn't tell you where, it just is a yes or no. It's a Boolean method. I have an example array over here called ingredients. And if I wanted to call ingredients.includes, does it include fish? It does not, as far as I remember. It does include a slew of very odd ingredients. I'm not sure what you could make with this. It'd be quite nasty, shrimp and sugar and flour. But you can see we get false. If I tried ingredients.includes, how about shrimp? We get true. And that's kind of it. It's, it's relatively simple. Um, it does not check inside of each element. So we're working with strings. You might think if I tried to search for corn, it would tell me true, but it does not. It's looking for an exact match. Does the array have an element corn? Not, does the array contain elements that may contain corn in them? It's looking for a direct match and it doesn't find corn in here. There's corn starch, but that's not the same as the string corn. There is one optional thing we can pass in, you can see here, called from index. From index is a way you can specify where to start searching from. So for some reason, I wanted to know if, uh, let's say, water was included in the second half of the array. How many items long is this? This is ingredients.length, it's eight items, so index of seven. So let's go with cheese as our middle point. It's not exactly the middle, but it has an index of three. So I could do ingredients.includes water after index of three, and that's false. But if I remove that, it's true. If I say index of zero, it's also true because it is index of zero. It's starting the search from here. I don't often use this second optional thing we can pass in, the from points or the search from index, but it is there, figured I should show you. And we'll do one quick example where we can take includes and use it in a simple conditional. So let's say someone is gluten free or gluten intolerant um, and they wanna check if ingredients includes flour, we could do if ingredients dot includes flour. And we don't have to check if that equals true because it is a Boolean method. It returns true or false. This whole thing becomes true or false. And if that's the case, if it is true, we'll say, I'm gluten-free, I cannot eat that. All right, refresh the page, there we go. That's kind of it. Next up, we have the second method, index of, and the note I wrote here is that it works just like string.index of. So it will search for a value, and if it finds it, it will return the index where it found it versus includes, which returns true or false. And just like with a string, if it does not find the value, if it's not present, it returns negative one. So let's try it out over here. Ingredients.index of eel. And we get six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job, JavaScript, you're correct. And if we try something that's not in there, like maple syrup, I mean, it should be in there, right? That would be great. Whoops, I need to say dot index of. Who doesn't want shrimp with maple syrup and cheese? It tells us negative one. So it works just like index of works on a string, except in the context of an array. It tells you where that value is in that array. And just like with includes, we can specify a from index. I'm not really sure how often you end up doing that, but just to make sure, let's look for cheese after the index of five, it does not exist, but if we change that to be index of two, we do get three. And that's correct, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so two different ways of looking for a value. It really depends on what your purpose is or what your goal is. If you're just trying to uh, see if something is in there, period, and you don't need to know where, then use includes. It makes your logic short. You don't have to check if a value, you know, if the index equals something, which we would have to do. If we were to rewrite this using index of, we would do something like ingredients dot 
index of flower is not equal to negative one. That means flower is in the ingredients array. If you're just checking if a value is present, includes is easier, but if you need to know where, then you would use index of. And you could use index of to find, you know, if flour is in here and you wanted to replace it with, um, I don't know, what do you, what do gluten-free people use instead of flour? Do they use corn flour? Some, whatever it is. You replace it with a substitute. You need to know where it is. And then you could change the value at that index using the return value of index of.